Hello, I am Dr. Rachna Kucheria, MD Family Medicine and I am going to talk to you about fever today. What is fever? What should you be looking out for? When is the time to call the doctor? Some common fevers during monsoon months are transmitted by the bites of mosquitoes of various kinds. One of them being dengue transmitted by the Aedes mosquito and then malaria by the Anopheles. Dengue fever. Usually the person suffers from high fever many times with a headache. Uh, there could be associated nausea vomiting and the patient usually comes to see the doctor on the second or third day at which time the doctor gets a test which confirms dengue. If a person does have dengue fever most of the time they can be managed at home with rest, lots and lots of liquid that is the main treatment for dengue um, and monitoring of platelets if those are falling. Dengue usually lasts eight days only and then it goes away on its own. In rare cases dengue could have complications something known as dengue hemorrhagic fever where there could be bleeding from the gums or urine and the patient is a lot sicker or the platelets are coming down. If any of these scenarios apply to someone you know, it is time to get them to the hospital. The other fever that we see commonly during the rainy months is malaria, which is transmitted by the bite of the Anopheles mosquito. Usually fevers with malaria come in with chills, meaning the patient feels very, very cold and shakes. Many times the fever comes every other days but none of these patterns may apply and the confirmation comes from a lab test. If one has malaria then treatment is different from it. You have to take anti-malarial medication which again is prescribed by the doctor. Malaria too has many complications, could have many complications, some of which could be quite dangerous. So all in all I would like to leave you with this thought that although many fevers could be self-limiting, may go away on their own, it is important to recognize the features when you should go and see the doctor. And I will repeat again, if the fevers are high, if the patient is feeling very unwell, if the patient is not able to keep anything down by mouth, if there is severe headache, uneasiness, drowsiness, any of these or it's a prolonged fever, then it is definitely time to see your doctor. If you would like to make an appointment with me or any other good physician, do access them on Librate.